Good morning, dear friends. So glad to see you. Good morning, dear friends. So glad to see you. Good morning, dear friends. So glad to see you. Good morning. Good morning to you. And welcome to story time in the schoolhouse. I'm Miss Becca. And I'm so glad to be here with you this morning. Friends, let's get started with some songs. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear stones and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear animals and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Come little leaves and the wind one day, come over the meadow with me to play. Put on your dresses of red and gold. The summer is gone and the days grow cold. Grow cold, grow cold. Autumn winds are sighing, stealing through the forest brown as they softly pass the trees. Little leaves come floating down. Fire bright, shining bright, share with us your golden light. Friends, I have a tale to tell you about an old man named Grandpa Ivy. And he lived in a little house he built himself that was nestled into the side of the mountains. And one morning in early autumn, he woke up and he went outside to smell the fresh air like he did every morning. And when he stepped outside, he noticed that Jack Frost had come to visit and had left some of his frosty footprints on the grass and the moss and the garden. And Grandpa Ivy's eyes shone and he said, oh, after Jack Frost comes to visit is when Mother Apple Tree's apples get even sweeter. So on that particular day, Grandpa Ivy decided that he would go on a walk to Mother Apple Tree. And he took off singing his song. Hey ho, hey ho, always I go, a walking along and singing in my song. And soon he found himself standing in front of Mother Apple Tree. And he found just what he had hoped, that a few apples had ripened and fallen to the ground, and the rest were on the tree almost ripe enough. So he decided to pick a few up off the ground so he could take them home and enjoy them that week. But he made sure not to take too many, because he wanted to be certain that all of his animal and human friends also had some apples to eat. And then Grandpa Ivy had gathered enough, and he took off back down the path toward his home, singing. Hey ho, hey ho, always I go, a walking along and singing a song. And as he walked down the path, he saw Grumbly Bear coming from down the path. And he said, hello, Grumbly Bear. Would you like a ripe, rosy, sweet apple, first of the season? 
And Grumbly Bear said, oh, why, yes, I would love that, Grandpa Ivy. So Grandpa Ivy gave Grumbly Bear an apple. And he headed off further down the path to his home. And then soon, coming out of a fallen log was Hoppity the bunny. And she hopped right up to Grandpa Ivy. And Grandpa Ivy said, hello, Hoppity bunny. Would you like a right red juicy apple, the first of the season? And Hoppity bunny said, why, yes, I would, Grandpa Ivy. So Grandpa Ivy gladly gave Hoppity bunny an apple. And then just a few steps further down the trail, Scamper the squirrel came scampering out of the woods. And Grandpa Ivy said, greetings, Scamper the squirrel. Would you like an apple, a ripe, red, juicy apple, the first of the season? And Scamper the squirrel said, oh, you betcha, this will last me all day long. And he took the apple from Grandpa Ivy and scampered on back down the path. Well, Grandpa Ivy soon came back to his house. And when he arrived, he looked up in the tree outside his front door and he saw his dear friend, Owl. And he noticed he had one apple left in his basket. And he said, dear Owl, would you like a ripe, red, juicy apple? first of the season. An owl yawned and he said, I've just woken up from a very long nap after eating too many apples. And he chuckled. And then he said, Grandpa Ivy, I believe that apple is for you. And Grandpa Ivy took the apple out of the basket and he said, indeed, it is. And he stuck it in his pocket and he went inside his home. And all was well in the world. Thank you, Fire Fairy, for giving us your light. Friends, it has been lovely to be here with you this morning. I'll see you tomorrow morning. We will, friends, know that you are loved.